Hiya. So I've created this quick video. It's a tour inside Crafty Online Course Creation to basically show you what it looks like and the the uh, kind of high level content. I've had a few conversations with people over the last couple of weeks and I've, I've done this with uh, each person. And I thought, yeah, do you know, this is one of the videos I've been meaning to do for a while. It was going to save me a lot of time, isn't it? So here we are. Right. So this is all hosted within Teachable, which is a course hosting platform. And you can see here I've customized it to my colors and it's a very neat interface so at the moment you're looking at the student view once you've signed in and selected the particular course that you've already signed up for okay so we have on the left here just a quick kind of image it shows you how far through the course you are um, it here we have the curriculum and then you get some more information about the instructor and then basically you have some profile details at the top right there but here we are looking at the curriculum and you've always got the kind of next lecture thing so obviously we're just starting here so the first lecture is the next lecture which is what to expect in this course so every course I have I always have a welcome section which explains what to expect it uh, gives you a, a tour of Teachable and the important settings from you as a student's point of view. Information about me, in case you don't know anything about me, about the course, um, the course roadmap. So, and you can see, so the ones here with the lines, that's a piece of a, a text. So you can just click on it. So this is the, the course roadmap. Okay, so this is a text item. You can always go back to the previous lecture, etc. And these start to fill up as you go ahead and complete the information. And then these are videos. So the, with the videos, it gives you the duration of the videos. Most of the videos are, you know, kind of 17 minutes is pretty much is, is an exception normally. So they're normally about 10, some are a lot less. Here we are like seven, like eight minutes, 10 minutes that kind of thing and so for each of these once you've actually watched it then that would go into a colored circle you can just click on it from here click start when you're in one it just goes on to the next one as well so this is very much what it uh, looks like um, if we have a video for example when we've clicked on that so we click into a lesson if there's a video, then it has its own thumbnail. It gives you the duration again. You can then go ahead and click play. We've got the usual things for volume and for speed, the settings and to make it full screen. Um, I have links here where you can download the slides to download the slides onto your, onto your device as well. OK, so there's often extra things on a page not just a video so there's usually downloads to a handout or whatever so we have the welcome section course introduction and then the main modules which is the, the point of what i'm showing here and the 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 detail of what's inside so in module one we're talking about getting ready it's very much the foundation of getting started to create your course so i kind of bust quite a few myths there we're looking at the foundations for online course success then um, simple steps to start building buzz yeah so you don't want to create your course and then think right oh who's my audience um oh i better start telling people about it you know when it's already done no it's not a coincidence that the first thing that we cover in this course is to start working out how to get you know more attention and start building some buzz um, about your ideas even if they're just forming it's never too early to start telling people that you're thinking about creating a course. If you want to create a survey, we're talking about uh, using Google Forms here. And then I talk through the using the pilot course strategy. So there's a look into module one, getting ready. Then we move into planning your course. So information here about pricing, your course concept, different ways of doing research with with demos of some of the different bits and pieces of software um, talking about managing your course creation project 
and organising your course assets. And there's a, a Trello, a course planning Trello board, um, which is a you know a cool online uh, little planning tool that I really enjoy using. I use it all the time for course planning. Then we're moving on to designing your course. Take particular attention here at converting an in-person course into an online course. There's more to it than what you would originally think. So if you've um, been teaching a class or you've created a Zoom a workshop version, then that's just a, a, a different location, isn't it? Um, so lots of questions about converting that into a pre-recorded on-demand video course. We look at how you define your learning outcomes, things about naming your course. Here we're like looking at how you map out the course content and defining the course deliverables and uh, some, some examples here as well. All very much about how you actually take your course idea and map it out into down into the specific modules and lessons that how you're going to structure it so that the people who buy your course achieve what it is that they want to and why they bought your course. Right, and then I've got four modules where we're really diving into the doing here. So um, four videos here about different types of course content, um, looking at different ways of creating course content. Um, I then go into equipment ideas, cameras, lights, mics, stands and tripods, playing around with a, a, a separate webcam. I look at thing about editing photos, how we capture screens. I look at kind of dive into um, Canva here because that's a, a key item of your course creators toolbox. So there's um, it's a kind of brief highlight. I do have a separate Canva course actually, which was done last November that I'm just getting ready to load up into my course platform. Um, so we're talking about creating graphics, creating a presentation. Um, uh, as usual, some action tasks. Module five is all about making and editing videos, which I know is a, a key item of fear and um, an area that really y y most of you need to look at. Yeah, uh, so a quick intro here. We can make videos using Canva. I talk about doing like little short links as well to help us link to things. Slideshow video in Canva. Canva um, Again, filming kind of webcam versus smartphone. We're looking at things like that. Helpful hints before filming, during filming and during editing. Uh, video editing software choices. And then I have selected one that I really like to use. It's simple. It's Yes, it's a paid one, but it's a, a really good price. A lot of the free video editors are just overwhelming, frankly. Uh, there's no support. You know, it's free. Um, so you can waste a lot of time struggling with some of these free things where the, the user interface isn't that great. Movavi's uh, Video Editor Plus is, is great. So I'll show you how to do slideshow videos with that and then what we call timeline editing. So that's when you're taking your footage out of your camera, your phone and editing it to, you know, cut things out, improve it, etc., etc. Um, so that's very much what goes on in module five. And I also threw in an extra in there. So if you have the specific Logitech webcam as well, separate webcam, then it has its own software. So I added an extra demo in there because people were struggling with that. Module six is all about choosing where you're going to put your um, course. So a very, very frequently asked question is, you know, people getting quite stressed out about, oh, I don't know where to put this and I don't know what to do and blah, blah. So it's a very important decision. And so I've broken it down into different, your different options so that you understand and can make an informed choice. Everybody has a different situation. And therefore, what I want you to do is make an informed choice as to how you're going to host, host your course, not just blindly follow what somebody else is doing. Oh, somebody's telling you, oh, you've got to use this. No, I'm all about raising the issues so that you can make an informed choice. So that's module six, all about that. And then module seven is all about launching your course. So we look at the, the pilot course strategy that we look at in module one. 
we look at the kind of the, the all of the things that you need to have in place to host and launch and sell a course then we look at your course marketing plan so three videos around course marketing and, and course marketing plan we look at a course launch plan a few videos around that and a demo then we have a section there about you know, building that final course infrastructure and creating all your launch materials we look at a sales page which is a key element of uh, having a course so what goes on on the sales page and some examples and then you know we're there we are we're ready to now launch your course so it is a comprehensive course it literally does include everything you could possibly need to go ahead and create a course and there we are i think it works out to about 16 hours but as you can see they're all small you know 10 15 minute pieces of um, video and then most of these is like a say checklist you've got action tasks all that it's all designed to teach you what you need to know realistically what you need to know to create a course very unique in um, the, the content that's in there and particularly in the level of tech demos and, and that kind of thing. Um, so there we are. I hope you found that useful. And then the other aspect of the course is the fortnightly question and answer Zoom sessions where you turn up and it's, quite, it's, you know, it's a small group experience. You're dealing with me and you turn up and ask me anything about online course creation and because I've been running an online business for 12 years, then there's a huge amount that I know about all the rest of the online stuff as well. So, you know, it's great to talk about course strategy or specific questions and queries you have about how to do different things. So that happens twice a week, uh, twice a month on the first and third Mondays of the month at 8 p.m. UK time to um, come, a, come and make use of that, use it as an accountability thing as well you know and announce uh what you're going to have done by by two weeks time so i hope you found that helpful and that's a view inside teachable and teachable is a online course hosting platform and obviously that's what i use i also have a course on that and uh, if you've you know once you get into this and you fancy using teachable then I do have an affiliate link as well. Uh, it doesn't cost you any more, of course, but uh, you know it just adds to the uh, helps helps me pay for the internet and all that sort of stuff. So, any questions? You know where I am, and I'm really looking forward to helping you make your course coming along, joining in with Crafty Online Course Creation your seven steps to faster and easier digital course creation. Let's get this done, get it ready for sale and to go, phew, and, and you can focus on, on marketing and getting your course sales growing. But just think how excited you're going to be when those first sales pop into your bank account. Okie dokie. I hope this has been helpful. Bye.